Welcome, Laura, to our farm. Hi, Keg Wynn. We've got 60 acres of clean permanent pasture or organic beef farm, essentially. Um, and Ursula, my daughter, um, helps us run it alongside the neighbouring farm next door with her partner, John. And Laura, you work with Penworth Landscape Partnerships as their archaeologist. It's <laughs> so nice to be here on Higher Kegwin Farm, which is a really good example of the prehistoric fossilised landscape that we have here in West Penworth. Uh, it's a, one of the oldest continuously farmed landscapes in Europe. Quite often get these higgledy-piggledy clusters of small fields. Um, people don't often realise, but they're, they're probably upwards of 4,000 years old. Um, those hedges that you see and that you see all over West Penwith that give it that really distinctive feel of mm. West Penwith and they sort of stretch from the coast right the way up to the moorland. Yeah it's really interesting you saying about how the hedges are being used because we've definitely started to think about how we can incorporate our smaller field pans um, into our great uh, cow management. And you can start really kind of valuing those hedges and start thinking yeah we can start making those stock proof and really enhancing um, enhancing their use really and, and meaning that they can actually function for that couple of thousand years because they are they do take quite a lot of upkeep and yeah. the cows inevitably rub them down quite a lot you're sort of reliving those early days bit of <laughs> bit of uh, experimental archaeology if yeah. you like um, <laughs> figuring out how how they might best work mm. um, it's really exciting it's really interesting for us as farmers because obviously we we live and farm in a very historic landscape and you know, seeing all the field patterns around and uh, walking up on the moorlands and you still see field patterns there. And it's, it's I, I think we always try and think about how they might have farmed this land because obviously that could be helpful to us as to how we might farm in the future and how we farm now. Having the opportunity to come back into the landscape again and, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's very satisfying. And, and that, I think, for me on a personal level is makes me feel very positive about, about farming in the future.